Hey, it's Chris with Never Enough Outdoors. I'm at Fort Yargo Lake today in Winder, Georgia. I've got the John boat. I'm gonna try to do a little fishing. It's gonna be very windy. It's 10 to 15 mile an hour winds. I'm not very excited about it. It may blow me all over the lake. I don't know, but maybe it'll give me some luck. So let's go see what we can do. All right, let's see how we can play with this thing today. What about trying to start out in the back. The bow does sit a lot lower than it used to. It's got a lot of weight up here. My crimp came undone. The things you would think would never happen, they happen to me. I am not prepared for them. All right, we've rigged up our trolling motor. I'll have to fix that and make it better when I get home. One thing I've noticed is having this lanyard around my neck. I kind of like it. It's not bad to have to do while you're fishing. It's not as good as the foot pedal, but it works to fish from the back. I, have, I feel like there's more stability in the back of the boat, but it's kind of in the way of the camera. So I have to make sure it's not going to hit my camera as I motor around in here. It's hard to get the the speed down. Just thought of something I could do. I can put this thing underneath my chesty so I don't have to worry about it being in the way of the camera. Let's stand up on my new deck. I never I'm never gonna stand on this deck, the new part, and fish it. It's more for stability, extra support in case I trip or something to lay stuff on. It just looks good. It covers everything up. I'm probably never going to stand on the actual new deck. I might, you know, stand like this, but I'm never going to really stand up here and fish much. But I stand on the seat most of the time. But I do like having this deck here for a lot of reasons. The front of the boat has less stability. It always has and it always will. That's one reason I got the batteries in the front on the sides to try to level it out some more, but I don't think anything I can do there would make it any better. I really want to stand up front. I need to do that today to see how I like it or how I don't like it. I'm going to see how fast I can go with both trolling motors going wide open. It's faster than it used to go. It used to go around 3.6. All right, I'm on the front, trying to get used to it. It's not near as easy to use as the one on my center console, but compared to the way I used to be able to fish on this boat, it's much easier. I need to invest in some rod holders for this boat. Somehow to get these rods out of the way when I'm moving around. It'd be even worse if there were two people on the boat. I'm happy with the deck so far. I'm standing on the hatch and it's doing great. It's very sturdy. I agree with the reviews I saw on this foot pedal. It is hard to stand up here. It may not be as bad on a sturdier boat, but it's hard to stand up here. And this is a not very easy to push down pedal. The reviews I heard were complaints of you have to push the your heel down all the way to get it to turn any to the left and that's true it's push your toe down to get it to turn any to the right if not just a little all the way and i agree that's a it's not easy to do on this motor especially with this john boat because any john boat in the front is just not near as sturdy as the back but once i get used to it it won't be so bad i don't think I just got to take the time to get up here and fish. Yes, I could also use my lanyard. I have the lanyard here. I've gotten really good at it. It's hard to do while you're fishing, but it's not a big deal. It's not as near a big deal as I thought it might be. I've just got a worm on here messing around. Really, I'm just playing with this trolling motor and I've wanted to hold a rod and fish and pretend like I was really fishing or really fish. 
so that's what I'm doing. I want to say on my other boat, I do everything with my left foot. So that's what I'm doing here. It just seemed to work out natural for me. So that's what I've decided to do. And this has just changed everything on fishing on this boat. Everything. The only downfall is that I can think of, and besides the flaws I've found with this, one downfall is my center console has a button that puts it in reverse and I can quickly go backwards. But this one doesn't go in reverse, it's forward only. So to go backwards, I've got to spin it all the way around and pointing backwards. All right, well, there it is. I got to try out my new trolling motor, my deck, my new, my new back deck. I probably won't stand on the back deck so much. Just, it covers up everything. It looks nice, uh, looks clean. The front deck I like. Uh, do I wish it were longer? Yes and no. Um, I, I, I don't think it would benefit me to be any longer, but it might. Um, it's plenty big enough for me. Uh, it looks small, but it's plenty big enough. I don't like using the foot pedal, um, especially in windy conditions. It was really rough out there today. Um, it was just hard to do. I, I don't know that I would do it again uh, and do the foot pedal. If I hadn't bought it, I, wouldn't, I probably wouldn't buy it next time now, knowing what I know. The handheld remote is so easy to do. It's quick, even while I'm fishing. It's not a big deal. So the front of the boat is not very stable, especially in windy conditions. So. Uh, the foot pedal just makes it that much harder to use your foot and fish and this thing is so much easier uh, i would just assume use it um, but the deck is nice i love it i love the back deck i'm just accustomed to standing in the back but the front deck is going to be great when i have my kids or my wife or a friend with me it's just going to be that much better the trolling motor works great uh, besides the foot pedal uh, that i don't like um, it, it works great and I have no complaints with the trail motor. It, it goes 4.2 miles an hour with both motors going at full speed. I used to get about 3.6 with just the one motor in the back. It's a 55 pound thrust. This is a 45, this is a 48 inch uh, motor guide XI3. Uh, I, I do recommend it. I've heard bad things about it. There's there's some differences in this, this one and what I've got on my other boat, but besides the differences, it's not once you get used to it, it's it's very easy to do, and um, I recommend it. Um, I would much rather have Minn Kota on both sides. I, I'm a Minn Kota guy, but when you get uh, $200 off a motor that's brand new you, and you have gift cards for it, you can't pass it up. So um, that's really the reason I went with this thing. So I did have a battery issue uh, with my trolling motor battery. The ground lead came uncrimped from where I'd crimped it and I didn't have anything to crimp it back with. I ended up just shoving it up in there as best I could and it held enough to, to use all day. So I'm going to have to fix that when I get home. Not a big deal, but I'm going to have to fix that and make it, but I might even have to solder it on to make it not come off again. But besides that little flaw, I had a great day. I didn't catch any fish. It was seriously windy, 15 mile an hour winds, but I had a great time and I'm excited about my new deck and trolling motor. So please check out my other videos, subscribe to my channel. We'll see you next time.